in that sense was a bit complicated, probably all of them are. Uh, we are a small nation, but we had a very complex structure of chambers of commerce and business associations, a lot of them, uh, 17 at one point interested, and all of them in a different manner participating in the public-private dialogue. This, of course, is a problem for any government to coordinate with all of them uh, and constantly, you will need a lot of resources to do that as a government, and governments usually have other things to do as well. So, um, one of the reasons why we um, considered that there is a dialogue going on, however, the results, the output of that dialogue were not satisfactory. Things didn't seem to move with the necessary um, dynamic, and the rest of the world is moving, it's not standing still, so we have to be quick and efficient. And the idea of the, uh, that we came up with, with the public sector, the civil sector, and especially the private sector, was not only to get them all on one table, that's not even the biggest issue in a small country like Macedonia, where we mostly know each other and that's not a problem. The biggest problem is how to make that dialogue efficient, how to provide results. And it was our finding that all three sectors needed assistance, first of all, in how to conduct a dialogue that is research-based, evidence-based, and that is very specific. You know, It's not easy because it's not enough just to say we want a highway. You know, It's nice, but it takes years. So we need short-term results achievable results, most of all. Uh, and um, I think that this model that we came up with is very reasonable in that sense. Uh, the NSCC, the National Entrepreneurship and Competitiveness Council, sounds complicated. It's really not. It's 17 members. It's like an association of chambers of commerce dealing with those issues that are considered issues of national interest, not, uh, not going into the autonomy of the chambers of commerce themselves. So they will continue to do what they did. But if you identify a joint issue on a national level, you don't need 17 people going to the prime minister and explaining him the same thing over and over. So when you have them ready to, give, to have a consensus on one thing, and then it, it doesn't even have to be a number of things. It can be two, three, five per year. But if they really address the priorities in the field of competitiveness, then it's enough for the start. Uh, the <coughs> and th we organized ourselves. Of course, the logistics are very important. The political momentum is very important. The government, the current government, uh, which is in power for seven years now, has shown significant interest in improving the competitiveness of the economy. Uh, the government ministries have shown strong um, coherency and unity in addressing, so we don't have a problem of one ministry not coordinating with the other ministries, which, as we heard here, can be a problem, of course, in other countries. So it was a huge asset for us. It was a big step forward. And the main challenge turned out to be, once we got all together on one table, the main challenge turned out to be the chambers of commerce and the business sector needed education, more and more education on how to really do the work that they previously thought should be done by the government. You know, people, businessmen usually say, I have problems. And I'll tell you I have problems, but I'm too busy to help you solve my problems. You, know. you are an administration. There are a lot of you there. You find a way, and that's good. But if you let them find a way, then you hand over the responsibility, and you give up the right to object. You know, And they can't know the solution to your problem better than yourself. You know. So we 
had a series of education. You know, businessmen were asking us, why do you educate us? We are not a part of the process. We have our chamber, educate them. That's not true. You as companies have to help your chamber identify not problems, solutions. And that takes work. You need to do a lot of analysis. You need to do the regulatory impact assessment. You can't just give a proposal to cut taxes. You, know, you have to say how much will it cost? How will you refund the taxes to the state? Because the state has a budget, of course. Yeah. So it's very complex, but also very interesting. Yeah.